Hi, Dr. Jeanette. How are you? Good morning. What Wonderful. show were you on when I saw you over there at Fox? Huh? Oh, I think I was, I think it was in America's Newsroom. I yeah. I remember. Yeah, with uh, Sandra Smith. How great is she? Yeah, and she's Bill Henry. Yeah, yeah, they're great. Oh, great. Ed over Henry's there. taking over for Bill Ed's now. going in. He's great. January yeah. 20th. We're so excited yeah. for Ed. And then Bill Hammer goes at 3 o'clock. I'm like a fan. I'm like a news fan. And, and they do such a great job over there. Uh, what were you talking about? Flu, probably. <gasps> Uh, I think we were talking about um, there's this new uh, artificial intelligence technology to detect breast cancer. Hmm. So machinery versus a radiologist, who is better? Wow. And it turns out that the artificial intelligence would pick up certain cancers that the radiologist would miss, but the radiologist picked up certain you cancers need the that, human the, eye. that the artificial intelligence missed. So yeah. together, yeah, yeah. we could probably pick it up a lot good. more. Just got to go to the Connie Dwyer Center if I could <laughs> do this plug at Trinitas. Uh, yeah, there, okay. uh, right there. So, yeah, so I bumped my head. I, I told you about that. See, you're smart. I took the medicine. I mixed um, a medication, mm -hmm. you know, and I think it was a sinus medicine that kind of messed me up. And it just, you had the syncope. Is that what it's called? Syncope. Syncope. Yeah, you, lose, you, you just, out. just for a second, yeah. but look, the part of the head is yeah. so, it's so thin. No stitches? 13 stitches. Oh, 13 stitches? <laughs> yes, 13 stitches. Oh they did goodness. the CAT scan when I wow. went to the hospital out there. I went to Paoli Hospital out in Pennsylvania, middle of nowhere best hospital it was such a great hospital and the gal the the health practitioner did 13 mm -hmm. stitches did a great job they did a cat scan said everything was okay Good. no internal bleeding yeah, no that, fractures that's what they were Good. looking for should i go back for another cat scan no you don't need to go back for another cat scan unless you're having like a headache and dizziness mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. blurry vision that sort of thing or if you have another syncopal episode but when are you going to get your stitches out? Uh, stitches came out yesterday. Oh, they came out already. Dr. Okay, Carl great. took them out yesterday. Good. He was good. And then, you know what? I, he, he put the... Um, stair strips. Thank you. Stair yeah. strips on. He said, don't put makeup on the stair yeah. strips. <laughs> no I think it's too late already because yeah. we were on TV. That's and okay. at, and the stair strips, I put the Band-Aid over the stair strips. Not so bad, though, right? No. Hey, good. I was lucky because yeah. people fall. Yeah. Am I right? They yeah. fall out of they this. They fall and they have bleeds internally and what? they cut their eyes, but you, you got away... My heart had woke up to it. And I know it's early in the morning, forgive me, 825, and I know you're listening, so forgive me, but I woke up to like a pool of blood because uh, I, I hit the oh wall, came goodness. down. And this was probably a matter of, what, 10 seconds? Wow. It, it happened so quickly. Was it? Were you alone when this happened? Well, yeah, I went, to the, the I went into the bathroom because I, I was with Charlie, and I made sure she was taken care of. As I'm feeling the walls close in on me, I said, Charlie, you go with this uh, a nanny here. She's gonna. All the kids are downstairs in the theater. You go down. Watch. I'll be right down, honey. I made sure she was taken care of. As I'm like feeling this, go into the the restroom there, close the door, and that's where I said, I got this. I like, and I took that macho attitude. I got this. I went to stand up. I went, I got this. You know what? You can't fight it because your your survival instinct is to stand, and that's why I just lost it for a split second. Went down with blood. That split second, you saw what it did. Yeah, but I didn't. Oh. I didn't see it was it wasn't continually bleeding, so I thought it was okay. So so I ended up cleaning. <laughs> you should see me cleaning oh, the bathroom. I know. <laughs> Anytime you feel like you're about to faint, lay down. Want that blood flow back to the head. So lay down. That's the safest thing. So you don't strike your head. What am I thinking, head. Mr. You're, Macho Man over here? And I swear ask to for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I will. Can I come to your office? I'll yes, come to your office. Of course. <laughs> I'll come in. I'll come. Can I, uh, don't we'll, give me your cell we'll phone. send you to the ER. No, no I will bother you. If you, give, if you uh, I have notes for you, but I totally okay. don't have them and I don't care. That's okay. Because it's good to see you again. Yeah. I know, Frank. Yeah, thank you very good, much. Good to see you too. That you bought me maple syrup. Yes, because I know you love syrup, but this at least has less calories, less sugars. I that know. way I you know. will not develop diabetes. But that's not pure maple syrup. Yeah, but it still it does, you know, taste But the you same. see, Frankie knows. <laughs> I always have this pure maple syrup, but there, there's, and my doctor said, Dr. Yeah. Carl says, he goes, Joe, I was listening to the show, lay off the maple syrup, he said. Right, so fifty-three it, grams of carbs. <clears throat> See, that's what I like about it, though. In this the morning, is half twenty-six. It, I know, but th th this cause this can, half. but too much of this, you could really cause. I have too much sugar, doc. Every day. So, is, is, is it cause how many it? drops do you put on there? Huh? How many drops? Al, how, how many drops? Many? Half the bottle. <laughs> exactly, that's my point. <laughs> Right. Drop. We're beyond. That, you, drop. See that, you see that? You see that bottle? I got him. I got him that for Christmas. Drugs how are many going buckets, up? doctor? You know how much insulin costs? Yeah, <laughs> doctor. Do you see that size of that bottle? I got him that for Christmas. Dilute it down a little. I guarantee bit. you, it's probably water. almost gone. Yeah. What? What? This one here? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, almost, yeah, almost gone. gone. Yeah. So, Doctor Deshawat, 
First of all, so where can we find you, by the way? I mean, do you want to plug where, where you are at City MD? Well, you moved up the, from Maryland all there. Over the, <laughs> <laughs> we're all over the city, so you'll see us on every street corner. You're so much. You, you we are, have one here at uh, Pi Dye. And uh, one, one around the corner from me in Staten Island as yeah. well. Wait, is there one close here to the, to the yeah, station? Yeah, you can walk to Which it. Which one are you minutes. at? That's the one we I, want to go I to. I rotate throughout different are ones. Are you in demand? You must. I have a feeling like all the others are not. I like not, that you, Dr. Jeanette's got a long line. There's no yeah, one there, huh? You can pop into any of them. We have great doctors and PAs that work at all of them. So yeah, they'll but, take good care of you. So tell us about the flu shot, okay? Because now I get the flu shot. Good. But I was a little late this year because I was in Europe, which I was worried. Now I'm going to catch the European flu, God forbid, you know? <laughs> really. So I came back, got the flu shot early. But maybe late October, uh, and it was late. Is it too late to get the flu shot, Doc? Great question, Joe. No, it is not too late to get. We're still in flu season right now, and wow. I'm diagnosing 20 cases a day. Wow. Influenza A, influenza B. I actually had a patient the other day. He had influenza A, and he had a syncopal episode. Oh, yeah. So for some people, it can be really serious. It can be life-threatening. But for others, you know, it, you might just have a, a fever, a headache, body aches, mm. chills, yeah. run down, yeah. sore throat. Yeah. Um, but if you get the flu shot, that can help protect you against the flu. And even if you still catch the flu, your symptoms may not be as severe as they would be if you didn't have it. So the guy had influenza A. What's the difference yeah. between A and B? There's just different strains. There's A. Woo! There's B. Woo! Those are the ones that we see most commonly. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing a lot of influenza B in the young younger children as well. But um, again, the flu shot can help protect you. The symptoms are similar. Sometimes B could be a little more severe in, in kids and children. So. Got to keep an eye out for our seniors and the kids. I don't they're most I, vulnerable. You know, I don't and give. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't give my children the flu shot. What? I Why? know. But she, you give it to yourself. So you're taking care of you, <laughs> but not your kids. <laughs> it's all about me, isn't it? No, no. I mean, you know, these guys don't. I'm like the dork dad. I worry so much about my children. I'm afraid to give them the flu shot, and the mom doesn't really want to give. Them, I should give them the flu shot. The you kids. should absolutely. The that is the number one way to prevent the flu. The and you know we've had thousands and thousands of hospitalizations from the flu. Oh my and we lord! Have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of deaths already <gasps> this year. What's going on? Why is it yeah. so severe this year? It, it, well, it's severe every year, but this year sometimes they're blaming happens, the president. No, no, <laughs> of course, right? It's Pelosi. It, it just blame sometimes the president. it can it cause uh, secondary infections like pneumonias. You can have trouble breathing. It get into your bloodstream. Uh, can cause problems, you know, with asthma exacerbations, that sort of thing. Yeah. So if you have asthma or diabetes or senior citizen or young children, mm. they're most at risk. So you should have the kids, uh, oh, na the nasal thing? Is, that, is the nasal no, thing No, no, that's the shot now. The regular shot, the, they, okay. the nasal doesn't work as well. I don't even know. If that, I don't think that's on the market right now, wow. the nasal spray. Wow. But six months of age and older, you're yeah. eligible for the flu shot. How did the guy who got syncope, which means you, you which that's apparently that. happened to me, what, what, how did it happen because of the flu? Yeah, he was just dehydrated. He was nauseous. The flu made him sick. He lost his appetite. He was running a fever, not getting enough fluids. Um, so he passed out, but we were able to take good care of him and um, get him on proper medicine and, and feel him better. Can I write but you a lucky. thank you note, Doc? <laughs> Can I write you? Of course. You? I got, look at the, look what the got me. Oh, that's so nice. Isn't that nice? Can I write you, Dr. Yes. Jeanette? Thank you for coming Aww. to the show. I'll that give you as many notes as I can. I gave it to Frank. He goes, it. where's the envelope? Because he got me envelopes. I'll put <laughs> yours in an envelope. It's dedicated to Jeanette. Exactly. I'll take it. Dr. Jeanette we'll Neshawat, and uh, he, she is just a, I just love that. Um, I know how much, it's so much work to become a doctor. So you yeah, go to school. It's, how many years of school, really? About 13 years. Oh, Lord, much girl. Whole life. We're and where did you come, originally came up? I'm originally from New York, but I grew up in Florida. Yeah. But now my whole family is in uh, Nashville, Franklin, Tennessee. Everybody's That's where I went in? there for Christmas. You went to Nashville. I loved it. Have you ever been there? N you know, I play. I believe I have played there. I actually played the Grand Ole Opry. It's a whole other story. Uh, yeah, oh, you know, wow. just uh, yeah, exactly. Do the the entertainment thing, which maybe you should go and check out one day. Okay. Come to a show anytime. You're welcome. Sure. And but Nashville, the ta everybody everybody's moving to Nashville. It's the taxes, yeah. right? I don't know. No, the taxes aren't that low over there. I don't really. Think. It's just the music, the culture. Tennessee. People are nice and friendly. Nice weather, though. With their cowboy hats. Right? Boots. Nice weather? Yeah, the, the weather's guys. definitely yeah. nicer over there. Yeah, Dr. Jeanette, true. we appreciate it. So can I ask you a question, too, yes, about sir. that before we go? we got a break, Al, I know. So you're seeing patient after patient after patient. And if, when, like, if I have to do a show or something, mm -hmm. and, you know, you have to take a, a live show or something else because you got to take time to yourself and you got to prepare, and then you're on stage. And then you're on stage for, for that hour and a half, whatever it is. And anyway, as a doctor, you're there all the, You're on all the time. 
Yeah. When, when, so if you're with a patient, do you say, yeah, okay, I'll see this patient, even though you feel you're starving, number one, <laughs> you, you, oh my gosh, I got to use the restroom, or you know, I'm exhausted, can I just catch 10 minutes before I see this next patient? Do you just keep it going? I mean, yeah, I mean, so for us, we, we love what we do. We love taking care of patients. But yeah, we're human. You know, If we have to go to the bathroom, we'll try to do it in between patients. We eat when we can. You know, it's, it's just a lifestyle, and we're used to it. You know, from day one, you're used mm. to just working hard and eat when you can, sleep when you can, go to the bathroom when you can. <laughs> That's the only I would ask that question. Yeah. But you look remarkably healthy. You're Thank not worried you. about catching something? Oh, I do. I mean, I'll wear masks. I get my flu <sighs> shot. And, yeah, we get sick once in a while, too. But And you always cover. wear the gloves, right? you oh, got to yeah. wear the gloves. We wash our hands before we go in and out of every room. Yeah, yeah. And uh, protect ourselves. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, this is yeah. great. Dr. Jeanette, thank you. Dr. Jeanette Neshawa, wow, thank you. I'll see you at Fox News, and you're, here, you're yeah. welcome here anytime. Thank you. I'm going to while Al does the news, and you're welcome to hang. You, what t- are you starting hours now? Oh, it's different. Like today, I will i don't have to be at work till 10, and then should be home later this evening. Dr. Jeanette, J-A-N-E-T-T-E, right? Yes, you got it right. Of That's course I did. I'm going to put, I'm going to write you a personal, uh, and I'll <laughs> put my number on that note. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Throw it to news. I'll send you a text. How's your stitches? Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we better see. I'm going to make a comment. Some more come. maple syrup and throw it to news. Please. <laughs> Please check my stitches. Less mm. calories for you. <laughs> okay. I do have a little pain. Can I? Can maybe, I'll How make an appointment. Tylenol? Yeah, Tylenol would be good.